Press start to continue. Short movie review. Count Vile has returned from Hades, and he has a fiendish new plot involving the console wars. Zack and Sam have already been captured by him, and they spent the movie playing Giacomo. Which is pretty fine, because that leaves Linku room for, you know, being the new lead and going through some development, which was what Zack did, and you know, there was a growing relationship between Zack and Sam in the first movie, and this leaves place for Linku and for him to develop a relationship with the very upbeat Princess Xana, who sort of, you know, allows them to get in some jokes on very girly type games. Xana is not much for the violence, and we're not entirely sure what she is the princess of, and Linku is of course her complete opposite, with, you know, wanting to take out every single guard that they come across. The film has less locations than the first, with, you know, Zack and Sam confined to a single room, and Linku and Xana basically going through hallway after hallway, and in this big office building, but it makes up for it in improved special effects and some very nice, I suppose you could call them cameo appearances, of the Press Start Adventures expanded cast. You know, the, the universe has a far more extensive cast than we saw in the first movie, and in this several of them pop up, and it's a lot of fun. There are not that many sort of henchmen type enemies, really only these ogre things and zombies. You do get to see what zombies do on their time off though. But they make up for it with a lot of sort of boss enemies, you know, more character like ones. The film is jam packed with jokes and references about video games and just the whole kind of you know, the, the entire medium, and just, you know, poking fun at the oddities of the medium, and the more or less unfortunate occurrences and, you know, fads of the medium. The humor can, again, be somewhat dry, and I would recommend watching Press Start Adventures, which you can do for free, before ordering either of these movies, but if you like it, what you see in the cartoons is what you get in the movies, and this one definitely is worth watching. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.